Hi everyone and welcome! I'm Maria and this video is a tutorial of ocean underwater scene with starfishes. This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and this is a color palette for this painting. So for this painting I will make uh, five levels. On the first level I will paint starfishes and bigger random shapes for water reflection. The second layer is more in the distance and there will be also smaller starfishes and smaller shapes of water reflection. The third level is a sea in the distance and it will only be a dark Prussian blue color. Fourth level is surface of the water and it will also have a larger shapes that will represent waves reflection and sand reflection. Fifth level is sky. So first I will sketch bigger starfish. She is in the front and it can be seen her four, four legs and one is in the back. Behind her I will sketch another starfish. It will be a smaller one because it's more in the distance. And behind that one I will draw a few more smaller starfishes. And now I'm going to sketch some random shapes in the first level. So you can try to imitate those shapes or try to find some reference photo of the ocean and some sand reflection in the water. Second level are going to be smaller shapes and just some strokes that will later be white. In the fourth level, uh, now I will make another shapes, they are bigger. I will put a masking tape and we can start coloring those areas that need to be white. I will paint first with a masking fluid. I recommend that you have a different brush for using masking fluid because it can ruin your brush. It's basically a liquid gum. And after you use it, you should immediately wash your brush in the water. Mm -hmm. 
after I applied all the masking fluid and waiting for it to dry, I will make some paints for starfishes. I'm using orange and alizarin crimson and this is only going to be a first layer of paint. A little bit of orange and alizarin crimson for some shadows and a yellow for some highlights. Now when starfishes are dried, I will wet the paper with a white brush and apply some sand color on the first level because this is going to be sand and a little bit on the fourth level because this will be a reflection of that sand in the water. After that layer is dried, I will apply some blue, that cerulean blue, and after that Prussian blue for the middle of the painting. Also, I'm using the cerulean blue for the sky and I will remove a little bit of paint with paper towel for some clouds. Now some places of the painting uh, and waves are going to be darker, so I painted only on some places, not on all that level. After every layer you have to wait for it to dry completely to uh, get another layer on it. And now I'm using a phthalocyanin turquoise but a little bit lighter with more water. And in some of the shapes I will apply the same color for some shadows. After all those layers are dried, uh, you can carefully remove uh, that masking fluid. Just be careful not to scratch your paper or remove paint. When all the masking fluid is removed, you will see that those areas are too much white. So I applied a lighter shade of blue and phthalocyanin turquoise paint over that areas. Just a light layer. A little bit of darker blue for those in the distance. When those layers are dried, I used a white wash to add some more reflection from the surface on the bottom of the sea and a little 
um, highlights on the waves above the water and on the bottom and some dots on the starfishes. And now I will paint starfishes to their finished color. So this is a mix of that orange and alizarin crimson for some shadows. And at the end I will use some white gel pens to add more dots on those starfishes. more shadows For these smaller details you can use a smaller brush but I would recommend that for all the other parts of the painting you use a wider brush to be quicker. And now I'm using that white gel pen to add a smaller lines from those shapes that are reflecting the waves on the surface of the water. And a little dot on the starfishes, some more details. And then they are over. If you like this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe so you don't miss my new content. And this painting is over. I hope you like this tutorial. And that's it. Thank you for watching and bye bye!